The preliminary findings were presented at GUASCO in 2019. What we've seen is a very gratifying response rate with objective response rates ranging around 40 to 50 percent of patients and complete responses in 19 percent of patients. Not only are we seeing gratifying responses, we're seeing responses in PDL1 negative tumors. And PDL1 negative tumors have historically had lower response to immune checkpoint inhibition. In fact, recently the FDA provided guidance that patients in the frontline setting should not receive frontline immune checkpoint inhibition unless they were PDL1 positive. So the finding that there's clinical activity in the PDL1 negative tumors suggests that this therapy may meet an unmet need by currently available treatments.